Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to EU4 and the Sweden is Not Overpowered series. When last we left off, we had annexed Riga, which is awesome. Another 11 development and one of the provinces we actually need for the achievement. Now, if we check the achievement, let's see. Do, do, it's a ways down here. Let's find it. S, 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 S. Oh, we passed it. Sweden is not overpowered. So... We have core province of Riga. That is checked off. We still need quite a few, actually. But it is getting shorter and shorter, and the majority of what we need is this. We don't even need Lubeck or any of the Denmark Peninsula. I just want that for trade purposes and development purposes. What we truly need is all of this. And that's it, and we'll have our achievement. So, I think our next order of business after... Well, ooh, the truce is almost up here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's wait for this English and French war to wrap up. Once the English Fr and French war wraps up, we probably will be able to call England in. We have a lot of favors. Let's go ahead and bump trust up once. Trust at 60 is good. That should be fine for now. We'll keep bumping that up depending on how many favors we get in this war. It's not like we've really done much of anything. We did kill 3,000 Frenchmen, but this war is, like, France is super unhappy about it. England's super unhappy about it. This should be over pretty quickly. Alright, we no longer need our troops to go to Revol, so we're gonna actually go to Stockholm. And you know, amazingly enough, things are actually... There it is! Speak of the devil and it shall end. All right, what did what happened? What happened? French conquest of Cornwall, peace. Ooh, France ended overlordship of Brittany. Oh, interesting, interesting. Ninety ducats, and that's it. Four favors. So to that end, since we now have twenty-three favors, we're gonna go ahead and use ten more to boost our trust of England. Er, bleh, bleh, bleh. Oh, excuse me to boost England's trust of us even further, because we're going to need that. Now, the truce is up here very shortly. Very shortly, like next month. So to that end, I'm actually going to go here. Hmm. Truce is up. There it is. All right, so I did ask you guys a question at the beginning of the last episode, but I am kind of recording this in bulk, so I have not had time to look at the feedback yet, unfortunately. So, um, in the last episode, I asked you guys what we should do with Novgorod. I'm still going to not do anything with them for now. I'll leave that up in the air. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. All right, now our question is, do we get ballsy? Do we, do we just go ahead and Dow Teutonic Order? We can call Brandenburg in on favors. England... Distant war, English manpower, war exhaustion. Yeah, it's distant war. Trust plus 15 is nice. Brandenburg can muster 15k, which would be helpful. Let's see how much the Teutons can muster. Do, 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 Teutonic order. They only have 13k sitting, and they can only ma muster a maximum of 16. That's pretty uh, pitiful. Oh, excuse me. So, unfortunately, we have to reconvert Yachmok. Damn... Catholic zealots. Ugh. Silly rebels. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Um, this is already being converted, isn't it? Why is there a missionary there, then? Oh, the missionary's gone. Okay. Uh, so we have one other missionary since Narva is now uh, part of our... Since this is now a state, we've already converted this. Let's just go ahead, I suppose pose and start here since there's been a rebellion for another four years that's gonna take a long time to convert let's check that yeah that won't be done for another five years oh that's awful so we may end up having to uh pass one of these i don't like how this would increase our institution embracement cost though hmm i mean our our, our economy has stabilized which is fantastic so um, hmm, courthouse. Is it really worth building a courthouse here? No, it is not. Let's see, Livland. Where is Livland? Livland is here. And this is in the Baltic, right? 
Riga already has a marketplace, I would suspect. Yes. So, Livland, how many building slots do you have? Plenty. Let's go ahead and build a barracks in Livland. I don't know why. why oh, we should have built a barracks there so many, so long ago. And mm, last one in Schmaland. You know, no, we'll do one in uh, Gyonj instead. And I think in Rip Money. But we are making. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, that seven ducats was fantastic from that war. But we are still making about four and a half, which isn't bad at all. Okay, clergy, you need more land. Meh, meh, meh. Ah, why do you need more land? Hold on, how exactly how mad are you? 99.9. Here. Quit complaining. Just because we keep annexing land doesn't mean you guys have to continue to complain. Now, we are going to give this to the burgers more than likely because that will help out our... Uh, trade income quite a bit since this is a pretty solid little trading province all we have to do is get it cored more than likely we will have an uprising over here now well, Livland uh, you know I think actually we will be fine honestly yeah look at the up oh, speak I spoke way too soon what round is this fourth round come at us Muscovy all right, let's go ahead and check everything again. Muscovy still has super high morale. We are catching up. We have better discipline. We finally have manpower, which is amazing. Ooh, the Teutons are in on this one, too. So, Brandenburg's in. We have crushed the Muscovy fleet right here. Get out. Get out, Muscovy. Muscovy has a lot of manpower, and they have 45k troops. Let's check everything. England, rip manpower. Brandenburg, rip manpower. Us, we have some manpower. I'm really glad we went ahead and got that 5% uh, defensive bonus. So let's check what... Yeah, Novgorod is still going to attach to us. So let's just continue. There we go. We beat down the Muscovy fleet. And we captured a pair of ships. Excellent, excellent. I like that. So to that end, we're actually going to go to Schmaland. We're going to dock up. Whose fleet is this? That's Brandenburg's fleet. Okay. Crush the Teutonic fleet. Now we could go blockade them. Hmm. Uh, you know, I think we actually will. So we'll go ahead and... Pair of damage ships leaves us six. No. We will wait. We will wait. Um, in a month, most of our navy will be back up. So that is fine. All right, Novgorod, get your troops up to me immediately. I need that extra, those extra men. We're going to go ahead. Let's see, what is our army made of? That's not bad. So we're going to go ahead and build one more Condata infantry. There's my... Okay, so Muscovy's attacking in the south now. Brandenburg, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fool? We actually have a bit of an army this time. So I think things will go a bit differently than they did last time. Especially considering we have another fort here in Riga. Unfortunately, they can go around that, so I think we will probably... I don't know. We may relocate that fort. We may not. Mercantilism is right. Absolutely. Give me that mercantilism. So, let's look at this. Cannot believe Muscovy has such high morale. That's ridiculous. Ah, there. That's why. Our army tradition helps with our morale a lot. We just don't have the prestige. We did get the Swedish military reforms, and I'm pretty sure that is a permanent bonus. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bonus till the end of the game. Alright, let's look at this. So this is our land maintenance modifier. National manpower. We can afford to re-roll you, I think. So let's see if we actually get a decent military advisor out of that. Alright, Muscovy is now sieging Novgorod. I think... Hmm, we could actually go relieve that. And that would probably be the smart thing to do. So, our navy's back up. Let's go blockade the entirety of the uh, Teutonic Order. Fortunately, there we go. Novgorod's troops are here now. Now, you have a decent general right there. Fortunately, we have a much better general right here. So I think what we're going to do... Uh, did I get my infantry? I did. Okay. So we're going to go relieve Novgorod. 
Um, corrupt ambassador. Yeah, I'll take that thirty diplo hit. Uh, no, we are not actually. We're gonna go down here like this because I don't think they can get to us. They are scattering. You're going to Ladoga. Huh. I. Th mm? You are completely abandoning the siege, which is actually good. I want you to abandon that siege. Let's see. As soon as this second army gets locked in, we're going to... Hmm, are we going to attack? Yeah, we have numbers. Do they have tech? No. And it's not like tech 11 is super important, so we are going in here. They still have the morale advantage, and we are taking a minus one from Woods. But I think since we have numbers and the better general here, we're just going to absolutely mow them down. See? See what I tell you guys? We did take some pretty heavy losses, unfortunately. About 1,500 infantry died. So if you guys are going to Notoborg on the 27th of June, we will be there on the 23rd, which is perfect. It'll be a defensive battle, and they're not taking it. Okay, this is fine. This is how we have to fight this war, pretty much. We do need to go relieve this siege at Raval. We really have to, because if this fort falls, things uh, will go not well for us. So again, we're going to shift consolidate. Let's see about... Yes, we will get most of our men back. We'll go to Narva, and we'll just sit tight for a second. Till the end of the month. There we go. That is the majority of our army back together. So now we attack once more into the breach. However, ah, uh, nope. Nope, that is a damn shame. All right, we are attacking here. We have numbers. They have morale, but we have the far superior general. With rolls like that, though, there we go. Nine to a four. There we go. Get out. Get out, Muscovy. Oh, did, was that a stack wipe? What? I do believe that was a stack wipe. Cool. So let's go chase the Teutons down and then march back up to Nyland. This is kind of just our little defensive perimeter. We're just kind of marching around in uh, inside of our fort area. Ooh, fantastic. All right, now we retreat because we need to reinforce a bit. That six stack was uh, getting a little brave there. So we're going to retreat back to Nyland right now. And we're just going to continue these tactics. We already have 12 war score. Um, and we're going to try... We're going to take more land from Muscovy in this war. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of uh, land from up here. And give it to Novgorod. Which is perfect. I'm really glad we got Novgorod back for Novgorod. That level 3 fort is fantastic for for this defense. Yeah, we just have ourselves a defensive bubble to rotate between now with the Fort and Riga, especially. So we're almost done culture converting in Notaborg. I don't know why we did that. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, well. So most of our separatists have gone completely away, which is fantastic. Our manpower is actually fine for once. Amazingly enough, we can actually reinforce... We are losing two ducats a month due to said reinforcements. We have the Teutons completely blockaded, which is fantastic. Uh, let's see, how much war score does that give us? Um, Osterode. What? What? We occupy land in Muscovy. No, we don't. Yay, England pulling a naval invasion. Go, England, go. All right, military access from Lithuania. Why do you want military access? Uh, sure. Oh, perfect, actually. I didn't even realize we had this. Excellent. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't even realize we had this. Okay, so we're going to go de-siege Golden again because it's kind of an issue. Well, it looks like England might be about to, so you guys are going to Rezev, which is where? Oh, there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not super concerned about this northern Novgorodian land getting occupied anymore as it's no longer a capital. All right, England's going to be a bro and go ahead and do that. You know, we could try and take down Sukov real fast. And we have a better siege leader. 
You know, I think we will. Yeah, so we're going to drop one troop here. We're going to drop a Merc here. You are going to grab Krenderman, and you are going to go to Sukov, and we're going to siege Sukov down. Should be able to get it rather quickly, hopefully, with some good rolls. Let's see what plays out. We do have a 14 stack coming. So, let's see about this. Honestly, I'm rather displeased with Poland for attacking. They're going to get Danzig. Yeah, we're going to have to fight the Poles, more than likely, because they're going to annex too much land here from the Teutons. Now, the Teutonic Order, actually, they would already take peace. It'd be a while before I could get Danzig or Konigsberg, and then we'd... Well, the Teutons wouldn't be too... They're outside the HRE, so this is perfect. Mm, I don't I don't know Thing, things are kind of not going super fantastically as far as that goes we will crush their fleet here damn poles let's hope Muscovy can uh, wreck the Polish now see the thing about it is um yeah this ooh wait they actually broke their alliance with Castile let's improve relations with uh, I say that, but it's like, ah, uh, it's so tough to know, because I think Teutons are, uh, da 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 Poland is going to annex Danzig here, and we need Danzig. So let's see if we can get Sukov. This will get us a hefty chunk of war score, hopefully, because it's a fort in Muscovy. Oh no, stab hit. Damn you, DAC war. Go away. 122, that's fine, whatever. War exhaustion is going up because we have been pretty much constantly at war for quite a while. There we go. Notaborg is converted. Excellent. Okay, so force merchants. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with revolts. Uh, we must pay for bread. Uh, we can't afford that, actually. So let's do it. And I think we forgot to check the merchant guild estates. Indeed we have. So, October, six years from now, we can get a healthy contribution, though, so that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, Sukov is down. Fantastic. Luki is about to be down. Um, hmm. Yeah, what we may end up doing, actually, what might be viable is we might vassalize the Teutonic Order and then use some sweet reconquest CBs against Poland. That might be our best course of action, but we will have to see how things play out. We have 34 war score on Muscovy already. He wants peace. Well, you're sieging a lot back to uh, Novgorod, by the way, including all of this. It was, you would see this to me. Don't like that. Let's see. Tikvin. Yeah, this would all go to Novgorod. And I, that's, I think that's exactly what we want. That would be nice, actually. That would hurt Muscovy quite a bit. We could probably get him that, too. Let's just double check that. Yep, that would go to Novgorod. Coalition would form, but I think that's fine. I mean, since we are using Reconquest CBs here, after all. So, where it do we need to strike next to really hurt the Russians? I think what we need to do is we need to... Let's march to Ryazev and see what happens since we now own Sukov. Oh, for... Come on. Regency Council. Two years. Weak, weak legitimacy, so we're going to have to bank some Diplo. Oh, this Regency, though. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. You know, on that note, I think we are going to call it an episode here. Gosh. Come on, game. Why you do this to me? Oh, well, anyway, we are going to wrap things up here. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. 
If you guys are enjoying the content, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out and subscribe for more EU4 content in the future. My name's Ori, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you in the next one.